Hello, and welcome to Watch My Plate. My name is Kurt. Thanks for tuning in. It's already episode 10. Time flies when you're having fun here. Can't thank you all enough for subscribing, liking these videos. Please continue to put your comments in, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I apologize if I look a little tired in this episode. It's been a very long day and a very long weekend. Today we had a dual baptism, and... It was just a very long weekend, so I wanted to make sure I got this video put together and keep on the cycle here on Sundays to make sure I get my first impressions out. So this will unfortunately be released a little bit later this evening, and you might not even really get to see this until Monday or even later on this week. But as always, first we're going to do a quick wrist check, and I am wearing my gold Rolex Mariner this evening. Today's first impression is for Peterson's Irish Oak. Now, this is now known as Irish Cask, and it comes with the interesting backstory, if you will. I picked this up quite some time ago and didn't recognize the tin. Had a quick conversation with the employee at the uh, cigar outlet. Every once in a while, they get some tins in, and told me a little bit about the blend, um, and there seems to be some interesting, I wouldn't call it controversy, but I have found that there's different descriptors online between the old blend and new blend, so I look forward to digging that into that a little bit more this week and trying to filter through and find out what the truth is there. But the tin that I have right now, the tin description says, a rich blend of Brazilian and African Virginia with Cavendish and rare Louisiana Perique. So I'm going to take this tin, take my own knife, and we're going to pop this open. I'm not sure if you catch that on the uh, on the mic here, but you got to love that uh, popping noise. And we'll just open. And one of the things I love about Peterson is like this Elizabethan collar. And... I can tell you right now, as I just wafted this, it's it's a very, very um, sweet, wow, almost bready, sweetie, sweet and bready um, aroma before I even uh, peel this back open. And we got the commentators in the background. Okay, so the moisture, it's packed in there pretty good, and again, I don't know how old this tin is, so it seems to be okay. But uh, again, the overall tin note definitely sweet and tangy. Sweet and tangy is is what I get right from the get go here. So. We're going to take a look at this uh, a little bit more up close here, so just hang tight. See you in a second. Okay, so let's take a look at the tin here. And as you can see, Peterson really does a great job on their ribbon cut. It is absolutely spectacular. And I have to mention, as I was getting this prepared here, the aroma that this puts off is quite strong. It is very, very sweet smelling, and I really can't wait to give it a try. But I know another thing that has perplexed a lot of newer pipe smokers is, you know, what, what is the exact moisture that you should be looking for? And in the many, many, many tins that I have gone through, I have to say this is probably the perfect moisture I have come across. And let me show you why. So when I pick up a good wad here and give it just a little pinch, and you'll see when you put it back down, it, it just comes back to life and springs back. And that's pretty much what you're looking for. But overall, when you're looking at the tobacco itself, I mean, it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to pack a pipe here real quick. 
and I'm going to meet you in the studio here in just a second and give you my first impression. Okay, so we're out in the studio here, and I got my pipe loaded up. It is the old antiquary 1950s, 60s freehand. Uh, it's basically a combination of a an egg and a uh, pickaxe. So it's a pretty neat little pipe here. So I'm gonna light up, and real quick, as I was loading this, you know, whole idea of this is to give you my first impressions. It was very reminiscent of Escudo. So I'm not sure how this is going to taste, but as I was loading this up, it, it did give me that uh, that idea of opening up a can of Escudo, that, that bready, sweet smell that you get here. So here we go. Okay, let's give it a second. On charring, it's not as sweet as I thought it would be, so. Mm. There you go, much better. Um, something else to mention too, and again, I, I try not to do too much research before I do this. Uh, I do remember seeing or hearing, I actually don't remember how I found this out, but uh, these are, I believe, aged in sherry casks. So, I'm not a huge aromatic fan. I don't believe this is classified as an aromatic. Um, I'd have to look that up, but off the get-go here, The sweetness is starting to come through. Um, it's very light, even a little nutty. Quite pleasant. And I absolutely love this tamper. This is probably the coolest thing uh, I ever bought because I am also a pen fanatic. I believe in, again, in one of my earlier videos here, don't ask me what episode it was, but uh, I quickly shown off my uh, pen collection. A whole bunch of pens. We'll get to those eventually one of these days here, but that's one of the reasons why I picked this up. I had seen this and probably glanced by it hundreds of times on smokingpipes.com. And then when it hit me what it was, I was like, oh my God, I had to have that. And even and after I bought it, I didn't realize it had the pickle on the bottom. So... This thing is really, really cool. If you have an opportunity, if you like pens, you absolutely have to pick this up. Because if you're like me, it works because you can just put it right in your shirt here. So, there's another light here. Give me one second. Gotta love the billowing smoke, right? Very, very vaporesque. I'm not really getting the spiciness yet out of this, so. I mean, maybe it's there just in the background. Very, very light, but it's more the sweetness that's really coming to the forefront here. But just want to put this video together for you. Give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. I'll try to get some more of these out during the week. Like I said, I have at least one more pipe coming. Um, I broke down again and bought yet another pipe. So I, I can't help myself, guys and gals. I, I really can't. I've got issues. So I'll be doing some more unboxings. It seems like you guys like those a lot. So Possibly two more unboxings coming this week, so keep an eye out for that. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I look forward to seeing you on my episode. Man, I can't talk today. It's been a long day.
I think it'll work. I'll take I'll catch you later.